The coalition against the Islamic State group has gained a critical ally. Egypt has a critical role to play in publicly renouncing the ideology that ISIL disseminates. This was a very important feature of our discussions in Jeddah and again today here in Cairo. And it is something that the Egyptian religious establishments at Al-Hazar and Dar al-Ifta, they both fully support and understand. Egypt's foreign minister offered his country's help, adding regional support to an otherwise largely Western international coalition allied against the Islamic State group. I support the international efforts to fight terrorism and work on supporting these efforts and support the necessary measures to put an end to this phenomena, whether in Iraq, Libya, or any part of the Arab world or in Africa. It's not clear Egypt will play a military role, but it offers critical help in the ideological battle against the Islamic State. Without broad support among Islamic nations in the Middle East and Africa, the alliance could look hauntingly like the so-called coalition of the willing that invaded and then occupied Iraq in 2003. In Baghdad, Iraq's prime minister said on Saturday that he has ordered the army to stop shelling populated areas held by the Islamic State. I issued order two days ago to stop targeting civilians and populated areas. My orders were very clear. We don't want more innocent victims to be killed in area and provinces controlled by the Islamic State group. Clashes between Iraqi security forces and fighters has taken its toll on civilians living in Islamic State-held areas. According to the United Nations, more than 1.8 million people have been displaced in Iraq since January when the rapid advance by Islamic State fighters began. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Erbil, Iraq.